Hey, what's going on, folks? It's me, Justin, and uh, this is kind of my, I guess, second pseudo build in public video for um, this programmatic SEO plugin that's going to be developed. Or I'm still in talks with a developer, and he's supposed to send me over a uh, uh, like a uh, scope quote proposal type thing. Um, hopefully this weekend. Hopefully by Monday. He's in New Zealand, so uh, you know time zone change is really wild. I think it's like it's almost five o'clock here. It's like ten a.m. there. Woof. Uh, <clears throat> so hopefully I get that soon. But I just want to talk about my thoughts on uh, monetization for at least you know this first iteration of this. Um, of this plugin in use and programmatically creating uh, a comparison site for uh for you know this i don't know just for anything really eventually it'll, it'll get to the point where i can just do whatever i want um but we gotta dial it in and it's you know very much going to be in initial stages and mvp status and yes it works is it does it work how we want it to no we want some more features yada 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 so on and so forth so Here's how I picture monetizing, um, we'll just say this first website being made with it. Um, and of course, you know, you can see, there ain't nothing hidden. If you want to click away right now, there you go ahead. Uh, but first, affiliate and partnership deals. Um, and I should say affiliate partnership deals, not slash. Um, just because at this point right now, like my whole internet marketing kind of career, whatever, uh, has been incentive based it's i don't really do the display of things i have but it's it, it's primarily affiliate marketing partnership affiliate partnerships um you know somebody somebody comes on they read it they like it they click through they purchase i get a commission that's i like that um it's 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 fun and it's and it, it's an exciting thing where at the beginning of the day you log in and look at your uh your earnings from the previous day and you know sometimes you get these really great days and you just like have a serious high um and in the days you get zero or not zero well you know you get like the usual you're like oh okay that's the usual um but then you have those weirdo like oh i just did triple or quadruple in one day like holy smokes that's great so that's that's what i like and the cool thing about this and doing like this programmatic um creation of pages is typically and I think I had these mixed up. Typically, an affiliate marketer would not write about a product or service if there is no incentive. I, there are some that would do like they would do, you know, is uh, I don't know uh, this microphone. Let's let, fuck. Uh, let's let's say Semrush. Okay, Semrush. I love Semrush. That's what I. That's my SEO uh, tool of choice. If if Semrush did not have an affiliate program, they would say, you know, they'd have a. That, you know, you could have like, oh, they're writing an SCM rush review, and but they'd also they just say, no, you know what, SEMrush is actually shit. Use Ahrefs, or you know, is SEMrush legitimate? No, it's not. Ahrefs is legit. Use Ahrefs, which you know would have a affiliate program. You know, and this just an example, um, because they both have uh, affiliate programs. Um, but what I can do with this, and like I, I imagine, or I will be using like this plugin. This custom plugin is being developed in conjunction with something like Thirsty Affiliates, where uh, the links are kind of cloaked, not not to hide them, but more so it's just easier to manage. Um, I can have that link to the uh, programmatically generated alternative page. Uh, that way, you know, when people come through, it's like, yeah, okay, they, they wanted to click, but they went there instead. And now it's like, oh, okay, well, they can either find a new platform or they can just punch it in manually and and they can still go there that way so uh yeah affiliate slash partnership deals that's gonna be kind of the big one initially and i say initially because who knows a year from now might be thinking completely different i don't know uh second uh ppc slash uh ppa slash ppl slash whatever basic pay-per-click paper acquisition a paper lead uh, and again, pay-per-click, you know, they come through, 
they click, okay, they get a dollar uh, or I get a dollar for every person that clicks over to, you know, X, Y, Z SAS paper lead is I get a hundred dollars for every person that clicks over and enters their contact information. They, they, yes, I want to get reached out to by sales, whether they close or not is irrelevant. It is I, I, I got, they got the contact information. I get paid for that. And then paper acquisition would be, they click over, they enter their information, the deal closes, then I get, you know, a thousand dollars or something like that. Basically it's almost like the same. It's PPA is basically an affiliate, um, a referral partnership. Um, it would just, you know, depend on how they're set up. Uh, and I think, I think kind of the major difference is like typically an affiliate partnership is you don't have to really, you know, you don't have to talk to anybody on the phone. You just, you, you put in for your information, you sign up, you verify your email, you enter your tax information, you end up, you enter how you want to get paid. And then they give you a link and you're home free. Whereas, you know, PPA would be, you probably have to actually talk to somebody, sign some contracts, that kind of shit, blah, blah, blah. Um, a little bit higher ticket. We'll say, you know, I'd say it's a difference between uh, some, some hundred dollar month or Two hundred dollar product and like a twenty five thousand dollar a year research thing. So uh, it's it's just really just scale. That's that's the difference between paper acquisition, like an affiliate partnership. Uh, third would be like a sponsorship package. And I've been doing some research and looking at some not necessarily competitors, but more like websites that are doing this, but they're doing it for SaaS. Every every website that's doing this is like SaaS based. It seems like period. Um, and some of them will have like, yeah, you can, uh, well, let me, let me just load one up. I think I, you know, the, the, the company, they, uh, uh, yeah. So here's one of them that, uh, I'm talking about. It's called software suggest. It's, it's kind of just a, uh, a lower, I don't know, not lower tier, but like an alternative to, um, like uh captero g2 but they have this uh you know these packages that companies can pay for i think every single company that's on this site is uh they're they're paid to be on the site right and fifteen hundred dollars for six months like you get you know as a one-man operation if i got two of those per month like that's it ain't that bad and that that's enough to hire somebody to reach out to companies, you know what I mean? And, and then, then, then they get, you know, you know, whatever, whatever they get a salary plus the commission if they sell whatever. But if you, you know, they got, Oh, you can add free profile, a premium listing, uh, guest posts. That's, that's kind of what I was thinking about. Like, yeah, you can, if you have, you know, uh, an article you want to submit showcasing your expertise in X, Y, Z industry or niche, well, you post it on here because that's kind of work. That's it's actually like beneficial for both parties because typically uh, a business that posts or you know does something like that, they'll share that with their uh, customers and audience or wherever they have built up. They'll also share it on their profiles or social profiles. They're going to talk about the fact that they got featured on a, another website. That's that's just that's small business one on one. You know what I mean? That's just what they do. Um, and then with that, you know, it brings more awareness to the platform. It potentially, if they have like a media page on their website, it could be something where they link back to us. It's, it's, it's almost like, it's just a good, it's a good move. <laughs> it just makes sense. They're paying, they're paying me to improve me, whatever. Um, you know, maybe, maybe give them access, access, to some kind of data, um, you know, here's how many people are clicking on your stuff. Here's how, here's how your competitors are, you know, here's the features that they have that you don't, that you might want. There's all that kind of information that we can provide again, founder interview. Okay. Same thing. Maybe a uh, collaborative webinar. That's a little, that's again, down the line stuff where that's not going to be me. That's like somebody else is going to be handling all the logistics of that. Um, and again, yes, the PR article. So, uh, just one of the, uh, one of the pages that uh, I'm talking about, I think I might have to come over here now. Dang it. There we go. I think we're back. Let me move this over here. Boom. So 
Uh, sponsorship packages. That that just seems like a great idea. But again, that's probably going to be somebody else in that seat, kind of doing that. And then you know, honestly, if if affiliate if the affiliate partnerships are doing very well, that might be a thing where it's like, yeah, I can I can have like a sales team that are just crushing it because they're getting huge commissions. Oh, how much like actual, you know, the 15, let's see if I can go back to that. Uh, all right. So say somebody, the $5,000 platinum tier. Okay. Yada, 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 riffraff, two guest posts. That means that they're writing that, you know, let's look down the line, a premium listing. That's a click of a button to add a star. You know what I mean? Um, the actual effort being done to uh, for that $5,000, you know, after, after it's all configured, there's not so much effort as is the value that's being provided when they're compared to their competitors. That's where the money comes in. So, you know, for a $5,000 sell, that might be, fuck, that might be like $4,000 commission for a salesperson, if that makes sense. Um, so again, sponsorships, that's definitely, uh, I, I want to get into that eventually not going to be day one type shit should be, could be, but I don't want to do that because I'm not a salesperson. Uh, unless and certainly least display ads. I don't really like display ads. They're not my jam. They're not my bread and butter. Uh, I don't know that this, this website would definitely, you know, not be eligible for anything like, um, media vine or ad thrive or any of those kind of blog blogger ad networks, just because there's not gonna be a lot of long form content. Um, it, it's gonna be again, all program programmatically, um, created, Ezoic, I don't know. Um, I, in my experience with display ads on a business website, uh, I had display ads on my job board. A lot of the ads that would show up were were for like Indeed and Monster and LinkedIn jobs. So like it was the ads that were showing up for for competitors and not, you know, if I had a gardening website, it, you know, hose would show up on the side or or rakes or whatever. I don't know secutors is that is that the right I don't, know. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not so display ads are that, that may come up probably not ever but that's also it's an option it's not gonna be an option probably but it's it's on the table um so yeah that's really kind of how i envision like uh monetizing this uh again the the performance part is going to be massive it's gonna be great I think that's going to be the bread and butter. And then from there, I think, you know, one and two are basically one and the same. Uh, it's just instead of a performance, well, they're both performance, but this is more simple. This is a little bit more like we actually have to get on the phone and this is like, Hey, we're going to have some salespeople reaching out to companies and talking to them or when people submit their information, like let's get on the phone and actually talk about it. So yeah, this was what I guess really not first video in this kind of pseudo build in public. You know, um, it's one of those things where I'd rather not talk about the actual website URL until it's at a point where it's making some amount of money. But then I think there's also going to be a a back end of that where I stop talking about it as far as the money side goes because we'll be making a lot, <laughs> and you know how it goes. So thanks for watching. Peace.